Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 5th, 2021. Well, yesterday, doggone it, we had that gap up in the morning. We were trying to show bullishness in the market, but that quickly met with some sellers, and the pressure on tech really seemed to well, it didn't seem to. It reversed uh, the early bullishness in the market and actually set some new lows on some of the indexes. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Boy, yesterday was one of those challenging days where we once again tried to uh, show a bullish picture in the pre-market and then just immediately run into sellers and reverse the day back down. And unfortunately, the technical damage in these charts is becoming pretty substantial. Now, having said that, if we take a look at the Dow chart or the diamonds chart, you'll notice that we continue to try and hang on to this price support in here. So I got to say the diamonds did a little bit better job yesterday defending some support levels in here, particularly right at the end of the day where we rallied up, right? I mean, just in the last three minutes of the day, rallied back up to hold that price support. And we're showing some bullishness this morning, trying to hold in here. But I want to caution everyone with thinking that this is the buy the dip rally because we have seen so many falsies in here. And remember that we have big jobs data coming just around the corner here this week. So watch that carefully. As we rally back up, we want to be clearly paying attention to price resistance levels in the chart. Sorry, that line's not very straight. Um, price resistance levels in the chart and also downtrend resistance here in the chart that we're going to have to deal with as we continue to progress back higher. Now, could we find that bounce in here and get a little relief? Yes, I think we certainly could. Um, and we certainly could also just see a choppy price action day as we wait for jobs day to that private payrolls number tomorrow morning. So don't be too surprised. We could also consolidate across here um before we make that move just rest a little bit after these big moves remember we cannot sound the all clear in this market until we can break that downtrend and hold the higher low and even then there will be some challenges with overhead resistance levels that we're really going to have to fight through um, to recover. Now, I do think a recovery is possible, but I cannot rule out the possibility of once again, as I said yesterday, when I see the futures way down in the overnight and then we get this bull rush in the pre-market, I can't rule out the possibility that we can see the bears re-attack and a retest of the overnight low. So kind of keep that in mind. And let's also keep in mind that there's nothing about this chart that suggests bullishness at this time. Yes, it could come back, but be really careful with the buy the dip uh, mentality, just rushing into risk underneath downtrend resistance. Keep an eye on this as well. Notice how close we are now to the 200 day moving average. I think you'd have to say we are within striking distance of the 200 day. We are actually closer to the 200 day than we are to the 50 day moving average. So keep an eye on that. When we get that close, that 200 day moving average tends to pull pretty darn hard on the market. Again, I'm not ruling out that possibility of a relief rally, but as we r rally back up, we want to watch these levels in here for that potential of that next failure that could bring us back down to that 200 day. It's kind of odd seeing a market rally or bounce, you know, kind of from mid air point here in the chart. Um, watch that 200 day. It could be a place that we're going to go here relatively soon. Notice also that our 50 day moving average in the chart is now turning lower and we have our shorter term moving averages through that level significantly creating a fairly high resistance level 
right through this area. So watch that pretty close if we begin to rally. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY actually set a new low yesterday. Notice we pushed on through to the downside. We got a nice little relief rally right there in the last three minutes of the day. We still have this dug on head and shoulders pattern that has played out here in the chart. We've broken the neckline of this move. So that suggests that we could see more downside yet in the market. But as a normal downtrending market, we get relief rallies. And I think there may be that possibility of a bit of a relief rally to come back up and test some resistance levels in the chart. And we have made some pretty significant resistance levels in this chart, as you can see. Fairly significant in this range here for those resistance levels. So keep a close eye on that. We should also keep an eye on um, our technicals here in the chart. Notice our shorter term moving averages crossing down through the 50. Notice our 50 day moving average now starting to turn south. So that is a problem for the market creating a resistance level as we rally back up here. Not saying we can't push through, but there is a problem there. Now one thing I would say is the SPY is quite a ways away from its 200 day. As a matter of fact, from where we were yesterday, it's pretty close to an equal distance between its 50 and its 200 day. So a little bit less of a chance that that 200 day moving average will pull heavily on that chart just for now. But if we run up here and we fail again at a resistance level in the chart, notice we've got resistance through here. We've got price resistance, significant price resistance right in here. If we were to rally up into this area and find failure, then watch for that 200 day moving average to come closer and closer into view. Then if we take a look at our QQQ, now our QQQ had a rough day yesterday with big tech selling off pretty hard. And um, I've mentioned that before, you know, watch out if big tech starts to sell. And that's exactly what we have going on here. So keep an eye on this. We have this resistance um, level in the chart that is substantial. And as we rally back into this range here, we could run into those entrenched bears. So if we do bounce, we'll want to watch these levels pretty closely as the next potential place that we could fail. Notice that yesterday, I'm going to draw, put a just a nice straight line across here we push down into this little level of price support. Now I got to tell you that price support is actually a weak level of support. So if we were to drop through that, notice we could fall all the way in to here. And that's going to put us very, very close to our 200 day moving average. So let's watch that. Um, remember any rally back, we have to be a little bit cautious of as we press into these price resistance levels. And remember, we cannot sound the all clear on this until we pop through and hold that level up here, um, start breaking through into those higher levels. We could also see this choppy consolidation in here. However, with the jobs data just around the corner, um, anything is possible, so keep an eye on that. Our technicals in the chart, once again, notice that our shorter term moving averages have crossed through and that our 50 day moving average has started to bend lower. We also have that 200 day moving average definitely within striking distance here in the QQQ. So a little bit shorter distance from where we were yesterday here than we do to here. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at our IWM, our IWM, our Russell. That guy been pretty interesting. We had a um, another break um, yesterday of the 200 day moving average. But right at the end of the day, we had this this rush coming back in and um, that ended up closing the day on a positive note. IWM, IWM has been holding up much better than others and really because of all of the news on energy crisis things happening in China, happening in Europe. So watch that closely. But we still have this wedging pattern here in the chart. So no clear path here for the Russell. And even though that energy continues to, to be strong, 
um, no clear path here. We have a year's worth of price resistance in this chart. And a wedging pattern gives, gives us about a 50-50 chance. Either we break out to the top side or we break out to the downside. So we could still range around in here on IWM. And take note. Here in the next few days, that 50-day moving average could easily slip down below that 200-day moving average, creating the death cross in the chart. Let's take a look at our um, bonds here this morning. Now, bonds are going to continue to be a pesky thing um, for our... Um, QQQ particularly. And remember, we have held some price support levels here in the chart. We tr we pushed down, started moving up again yesterday, pushed back by the end of the day. So that gave that little bit of sweet relief uh, to the NASDAQ. But watch this area in here, guys. If we hold this support, this higher level of support, that's where we might engage this trend. So watch that carefully if that were to occur. Inflation is not going away, and we know that there are significant issues in China and other places around the world that are starting to uh, cause the market a little bit of heartburn. So watch that carefully um, if bonds continue to be bought up. And you got to think about the motivation here, guys. Um, how many of you are willing to buy a 30-year bond for a 2% return? But there seems to be a significant number of folks rushing into bonds for that exact thing. So that should be a concern, and we need to be watching this closely if these bonds hold support levels and start back up, we can run into some trouble. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, quite elevated yesterday, and although we pulled back by the end of the day, we still want to take a look at the fact that we're well above the 200 or that 20 handle in the chart, and I've been mentioning that for a long time, as a strong support and resistance level in the chart. We have also broken above this downtrend and as of now we continue to hold above that and we still have this upside trend in the VIX. So with that going on in the chart we have some work here to do um, if those bulls are going to recover. We really see, need to see those bulls pushing back and breaking back down below that uptrend there. Um, that may be a big ask with the jobs data just around the corner. So keep a close eye on that. Fear could certainly come back in um, depending on how some of this data, you know, comes out. Let's take a look at our T2122. Our T2122 indicator is in a little bit of a challenging spot here. Whoops, just a second. There we go. Our T2122 indicator is in that challenging spot where we don't really have a directional idea. Remember, this area down in here is the bullish reversal zone. And I'm kind of surprised that we have not yet, in the, all of this selling, we have not yet been down here to test that bullish reversal zone. So we're moving from a little bit of an elevated position and trying to bounce to the upside. So let's keep in mind that where we are here, it's not a very big move here in the market back to price resistance levels where we're going to show an overbought condition in the market if we find that inspiration on the bulls. And remember, we certainly could still see those bears fight back just like yesterday um, and retest the overnight lows in the futures chart. So watch that closely should we move lower if the bears find inspiration. Let's take a look at our T2107. This is that Percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average, and obviously this has been in a substantial decline. But one thing that was nice yesterday is as we were pulling back, notice that we held up a little bit better in that T2107. Not quite as many of those stocks were pushing all the way back down. And we have this little higher low in this chart. So we do have that possibility if we can catch that market bounce. And this would be very helpful for the market. If we could lift this boat anchor off the bottom of the ocean here, that could provide a little bit of levity to anything that is rising. So watch this here. If that can push above that downtrend and hold 
um, um, some support levels, then maybe we can start getting back onto a road to recovery here. So watch that closely. And then our T2101, which is the market breadth. I got to tell you, even with the selling yesterday, that market breadth really didn't get going yesterday at all. So that's a little bit of a feather in the cap of the bulls and hopefully giving them a little bit more opportunity to give us a little relief rally here in the charts let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now our economic calendar doesn't have a whole lot on it today to worry about but enough that we want to be paying attention and probably more focused on what's going to happen after today um, in the market first we have international trading goods we know that our international trade is horrific uh, that number is awful we continue to ignore that nobody seems to care that we don't make much here in the united states anymore everything is an import and the the problem is that that deficit continues to be very very ugly but it doesn't seem to bother anyone here, so uh, may not be a big deal today. Um, also, we've got that ISM. There's a PMI number coming out. We'll want a producer um, uh, information. We'll want to watch that, but um, not likely a market mover. And then we have the ISM services here today. Not a big market mover as well. So keep an eye on that. We've got a couple Fed speakers. It seems like these guys just can't. They just never have enough to say. Um, always getting out there in front of cameras for some reason. So yakking away today as well. And then remember, as we plan forward, we've got the ADP report tomorrow morning, those private payroll numbers. That could be a big deal. We also have those mortgage applications. They have been declining. So watch that closely. And then we're going to hit that petroleum status. But it's going to be that ADP that everyone's going to be a little bit nervous about because of the way that number come in last time and the pressures that are we're starting to see here in the market. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now we have um, uh, more than 11, uh, 11 companies on the earnings calendar, but we only have two companies that are um, um, confirmed reports. Um, take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo um, is reporting today. Uh, looks like we're moving up. They had a positive report and they're guiding forward. Um, from PepsiCo. Um, PepsiCo's been running in this um, ugly little downtrend, breaking price support levels. So once again, even though we've got a good report here, this really, I don't think you could sound the all clear on this until we can really make it up past that big resistance level and prove to hold it as support. And then we also, um, on that, um, we have SAR that is reporting today keep an eye on this looks like they're trying to push a little higher now i can't tell you if that little push this morning is just a function of the market bullishness here uh, showing in the futures or if it's reported but let's watch this we've got a nice little upside trend but we're running into a price resistance level in the chart that we need to break through so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for the day but before we do that guys if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you can please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon so that you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful to be helpful do me a couple of favors first click that thumbs up button Leave a brief comment because it's the it's the engagement with the channel that makes the difference. And um, every time you guys comment, um, it helps um, the algorithm to show these videos to more folks. And then also, if you could do me the favor of clicking that share button and posting these videos out on your social media feed, if you feel that they have helped you, they might might um, help other and your other folks and you're kind of paying it forward by passing it along so thank you everyone who does take the time to do that um, honestly i truly truly appreciate it and i also just want to say a huge thank you to those folks that um, continue to support the channel with the buy me a coffee link if you're not a member of hit and run candlesticks and and want to support this kind of no hype content 
um, then please click that link just below the title and, and you can um, help support the channel that way. And thank you so much to everyone who has and continues to do so. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are looking okay. We've got some work here to do if you're looking for long trades um, to find really good quality stocks. But the places that they're really showing up more than anything, guys, is in the energy sector. Take a look at energy. Energy, unbelievably strong. Um, XLE just pushing to the upside. And you can just go through this um, list of components in XLE and you're going to find stocks that are just ripping to the upside. Now, some of those are a little bit stretched out. They'd be a little bit hard to chase in the trade, but there's tons of stocks here in this sector that are very, very strong. Now, take a look at like Schlumberger. This is a pretty decent chart and not a bad potential buy point in here. Nice little resting uh, pattern in here where we pulled back, tested support, and now we're seeing those buyers step up. We're going to challenge some resistance levels in this chart, see if that can push on through. You'll see other charts like Halliburton, maybe a little bit stretched out. ConocoPhillips, extremely stretched out. So be careful not to chase. Wait for some of these. And even in the production side of oil, Take a look at like Valero Energy refining, really picking up strong. Another place you might want to look is into some of the natural gases. Take a look at like UNG. Now I have been holding UNG as a long-term hold. I'm I'm doing extremely well in this, so I may have a bias on that. But take a look at UNG. We have a nice little pattern trying to set up in here. We may be um, ready to push on through here on UNG. So keep a close eye on that natural gas. Also very, very strong um, in this environment. So watch them closely. You might want to take a look at the financials. Now, yesterday we had a nice little push up in the financials, but doggone it, they failed by the end of the day, pushing all the way back down. Um, we have a little bit of a problem here with this uh, triple top and we're trying to work our way back up through there with this higher low so watch that closely but if you go through the list here there are some stocks looking pretty good take a look um, Morgan Stanley it's got some work to do to pick up here but we saw some um, pretty pretty nice moves in Goldman Sachs yesterday trying to push up trying to break into some of these downtrends so watch those closely. They're trying here in some of those financials to move back up. And we're definitely going to need those financials here if we are going to move up. By the way, take note of these um, good support levels here in this chart um, for that potential move back to the upside if they can get going. Now other places, um, take a look at LUMN. Now LUMN is actually something I hold and uh, many of the right way options folks do hold. Um, now this came very, very close to tripping my stop in this trade, but held on in that chart. Now I'm holding this as a stock position, a longer term position. So keep that in mind and keep in mind that I do have a bias on this. But we're seeing um, some of this communication sector trying to hold up. We still have this trend here on this chart looking pretty good. And this is a huge dividend yield in this. And when the market starts getting a little bit scary, folks start looking at some of those dividend yielding stocks. So watch that carefully. The, these may be trying to come back around to the upside. I'd also say take a look at ACB. Um, ACB, a cannabis stock. Um, trying to push up here in the chart. Now, depending on how you draw that downtrend, you could certainly draw that here and show that we kind of held that downtrend um, in the move back up. Unfortunately, we broke that support in doing it. Or you could draw that trend um, um, up in here across this area and say, hey, we've just now broken out of that downtrend. So watch that carefully. If we can hold above these price support levels, get a little resting pullback in here, there may be some opportunity here in ACB. So there's a few charts for you to look at. Um, not a whole lot on the bullish side right now that that is that is really strong. A lot of things underneath their downtrends, a lot of pressure here in the market. And we can't rule out again that possibility that we 
could retest the overnight lows. So watch carefully for that and be very, very careful about rushing in this morning. Let's watch, wait and see if those buyers will actually step through and push to the upside. So everyone have a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care now.